fired up. Got your chicken, your mess, and wing, soy sauce, sugar cane vinegar, cane vinegar, garlic, bay leaves, crushed peppercorn, and a little bit of salt. Yeah, mix it all up. How long is that going to marinate? About five hours. You marinate and then how are you going to cook them? So you have hard bake them halfway, okay. just so I don't burn all that soy sauce in the deep fryer. Right. Pulls in a lot of that flavor. And then what kind of sauce we put on the outside? We're doing a double glaze. Mm -hmm. I've got the olive oil, coat that pan up. Garlic, peppercorn. You and your bay leaves, bay leaves. Get all those flavors out. Soy sauce. Sugar cane vinegar. Got some chipotle peppers. Ketchup. Yep. Plenty for that sweetness. Brown sugar, cayenne pepper, red chili flakes, orchard sauce, the salt. Cook this up for about 15, 20 minutes just so you can get all those flavors in. Got a little cornstarch slurry, a little slurry to thicken it up. That'll help tighten it up. You got some water just to balance it out. Let that boil probably come together. Now we're gonna throw these shrimp chips in the fryer. 15 seconds, 350 degrees, and they just, they're just gonna pop up. So once I, oh, oh, that's mm -hmm. like mad ninja skills. All right, we got a uh, seasoning right here. I still have so soaks it right up. All right, put these down as a bed for our wings. Okay. Right. Now we're gonna take our wings, nice and crispy. Take our uh, double glaze, squirt them in there. Now we're just gonna toss them up. Little sesame seeds. A little green onion lemon zest garnish. There you go. I can't figure out the flavor. All of a sudden, they got soy sauce, kind of good chipotle. They get a little bit of the garlic, and they get sweet. Yeah. The wings are cooked perfectly. Little big wings, great crust to them, and the shrimp chips that they got in it. Not too sweet, not too spicy, not Asian, not Mexican, just sea or sea sick. Yeah, that's uh, enough, my friend. But don't go buffalo wings. The glaze on the wings is sweet and spicy all at the same time. It's one of the most flavorful menu items that they have. We gotta run out and get it. Good looking out. Right on. Take care of this. Right on, sir. Watch out for this character. <laughs> for 48 hours. Roll them by hand. We're going to put them on a sheet tray. Cut them in half and then we're going to part cook them. We're going to go ahead and bake them for about 15 minutes. Nice sausages. Thank you. So we have dough straight from the mixer that hasn't proved. Straight from the mixer has not proved. Not proved. Not proved. Not, 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 not proved. <laughs> Ready? Alright, okay. Ready? We're gonna do the sausage then. 
little jalapeno on top. Roasted or? They're roasted hatch jalapeno. Then we're going to put them on our pan. Two at a time. Cook these for 18 to 20 minutes at 450. Word. We're going to blend our cannoli now, okay? Put some provolone cheese on there. And get some marinara. We'll add it right over the top there. A little amount of cheese. A little fresh Four pizzas. Dinner cannoli. Dinner cannoli. Say a little bit of that. Mm. Wow. Look at that. Oh, but it in there. That jalapeno. What I really like is that the dough is a little bit more firm. Which you get that with some of that nice rustic tomato sauce on there. Like a mini calzone. Down a little bust of you. Killer. I just shovel that in as fast as you can. This is Steve Mickey Mark doing all this by himself. He picks the peas too? Yeah. What else do you make yourself? Everything. Everything in this restaurant is from scratch. The sausage, the chips, the corned beef. Not to mention the sauerkraut. The main ingredient is this Midwestern favorite. Crow burger up? Oh, I think this one is for every bite. It's just like an explosion in your mouth. Delicious. What are we gonna do, Chef? We're gonna make the kraut mix for our kraut burger. So we're adding our olive oil. Then we're gonna add garlic to it. Sauteing or you could combine and two and two, make two big pizzas. We're gonna brown that up. Then we're gonna add our chicken stock. Here's our parsley. There you go. And then we're gonna add our green onions, salt. We're gonna add our black crushed pepper. And all of this is ours. <laughs> is it our specialist during our, our specialist during our mixture? Guess what's in next, ladies and gentlemen? Our cabbage. We're gonna let this cook down for about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. And we let that chill for it. All right, chef, let's get it going. We're gonna make the dough for the crowd. Get a little bench flour we're gonna put down here. And we got our dough that's basically for here. We're going to roll this up and then we're going to cut it into squares. Now we have our mixture of the cooked down cabbage and we're going to scoop some of this right into the... Actually I like just using... Portion, you can either do four, Look at the size of this thing. four little ones, okay, so then we're just two big ones. Ends, pull it through the center. It's up to you. Alright so now we go to the oven, 450, 18 minutes. Yep, we're good to go. Alright, so we got our baked kraut burger along with some french fries. We'll take a little olive oil, a little fresh parsley, and then our homemade honey mustard sauce. Here. Mm. See, I love cabbage. I don't know about you, but I'm a cabbage junkie. He's done an excellent job on this. See, that cabbage just cooked down super tender, which just dissolves right into the meat. And the dough that you make. That's outrageous. Excellent job. Thank you. Delicious. Just a good, solid, hearty meal. You're not going to go away from I don't have to cook anymore. Not a bad trade off. You know, we drive around the country, we check out these fucking joints. But believe it or not, I haven't seen this girl for 25 years. Peggy Dillashaw. We lived in Ferndale together. Everybody at home would probably love to hear some real great, juicy details of what I was like as a kid for Peggy. Peggy doesn't want to talk about that. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, Glenn. Coming up. There you go. You are turning and burning. For a food truck. Oh, serve it up. A triple D first. The bombbomb.com. So you won't taste it. Get your pizza stone. It tastes like insane. All right. It's soaked vanilla almond milk. It obviously tastes like almonds. Mmm. A little bit of cornmeal. Sprinkle it on your stove. Introducing the first ever rain defense system. It attacks the bugs you see. It destroys the bugs you don't see. And prevents by keeping bugs out. The rain defense system. Get the answers to beat the bugs. 
do all of this make sure your hands are really clean you have a clean counter there you go and then just follow the steps for my last video if you want a lot of people were complaining about too much of this I usually don't put that much, I don't know why, that was my first attempt, real attempt at making homemade pizza, but I've made this hundreds of times, comes out really good now, there you go.